Welcome, Vestal High School Class of 2024. Thank you for joining me. This video contains a brief overview of some highlights from our 2020 virtual new student orientation. My name is Rick Dutko, and I am an assistant principal here at Vestal High School. On behalf of our central office and building administrative team, I want to share how excited I am to be among the first to welcome the class of 2024, as well as all of our new students to the high school. You should have received an email from Mrs. Young, our building principal, with some resources to help you learn more about Vestal High School, including building maps, the current health screening questionnaire, a link to request access to our school tool parent portal, and a copy of the acceptable use policy for students signing out a district Chromebook. If you did not receive this email, you may want to check your junk or spam folder to be sure the email did not get stuck. You may also contact our main office so that we can verify that we have accurate correct contact information on file for all families. As an additional reminder, Chromebook pickup has been scheduled throughout the day on September 9th, 10th, and 11th. No appointment is necessary. Simply pull into the high school bus loop and a staff member will confirm your name and paperwork. If you do not have access to a printer, we will have paper copies available of the user agreements. However, having these items available and complete will streamline the process. In addition, it is important to note that devices are available for students based on the original parent survey. If your needs have changed, please contact the assistant principal's office to be added to the device request list. We will make every effort to have a device available for you and will communicate any adjustments or modifications to the pickup schedule. With so many diverse clubs and organizations, we ask you to follow the official Facebook page to keep up with events, opportunities, and news. You'll know it is the official page because it has this golden bear picture on the profile. You may also want to subscribe to the district YouTube channel. When school buildings closed in March last year, we began live streaming and archiving events, including Board of Education meetings, award ceremonies, and even graduation. I also want to encourage students to check their school email daily for important updates and to help them communicate with their teachers, counselors, and our staff. The high school website provides links for students to easily access their school email, Google Classroom, Google Drive, and other resources to help them be successful. They may also use their general network password to access the student school tool portal, where they can now view their current schedules. Parents may also request access through the school tool portal to track attendance and grades. Research has proven a strong correlation between attendance, academic performance, and mental wellness. You may request parent portal access through the links on the district website. There are many awards that symbolize four years of the hard work ahead. Honor tassels, cords, and academic pins are ways we celebrate excellence across areas of study, including the arts, technical education, and traditional academics. Graduation is a culmination of effort, persistence, and commitment over four years. It all starts now. Every day, set a goal to be present and engaged in your classes. 
This means being on time and prepared with homework and materials every day, in person or remote. It means participating in activities, discussions, and group work. I'd like to take a moment to introduce our school's counseling and guidance department. Our school is fortunate to have six school counselors and a school psychologist. Who can support students in a variety of areas? If you have any questions or concerns, you may contact the Counseling and Guidance Office at 757-2214. We know that high school is an important transition and it is our goal to prepare students to successfully earn the credits required for graduation as well as pass any designated exams. There are many types of courses available at Vestal High School, including accelerated and IB courses. But no matter what path you choose, we are here to support you. Please note that there are some special scheduling notes in place at this time. We are unable to adjust schedules to obtain specific class times or teachers and lunch change requests will not be honored. We have worked hard to ensure that all courses continue to be offered at Vestal High School. We do encourage students to accept the invitation to join the Counseling and Guidance Office Google Classroom. This virtual office will provide a variety of information and resources throughout the school year. Let's take a look at some of the new procedures in place this school year as we work to make our school reopening safe for students and staff. The atrium or main entrance is still the single point of entry, but we've created different lines or zones to help promote social distancing. Health screening questionnaires and temperature checks should be completed by parents or guardians at home to be verified by school staff. But if students do not have a verified health questionnaire, our school staff will work with them to review any symptoms to be sure that people are healthy before they attend classes. In addition, all student, staff, and visitor temperatures will be taken as they enter the building. Students will notice special signage throughout the building, reminding them to practice appropriate social distancing. And we are working hard to clean and sanitize high touch areas in the building throughout the day. Additional hand sanitizer dispensers are also being made available. We do ask and require that face masks are worn by all students and staff during the day, including in hallways, restrooms, and classrooms, except when eating. Students will not be allowed to eat in classrooms this year. If a student arrives at school without a face mask, one will be provided. Students who refuse to wear the face mask may face disciplinary procedures under the Code of Conduct. Students will also not be using lockers or changing for physical education at this point. Students may carry backpacks with them throughout the day to help them stay organized. Students attending the hybrid model should pay attention to their day in the six day cycle and make sure that they wear appropriate clothing and have sneakers to wear if 
their in-person day of attendance coincides with the day of physical education class. Our campus will be closed at lunch this year. Students are welcome to purchase lunch in our cafeteria and the commons. And additional dining areas have been created during the lunch periods in commons and room 181, as well as the main cafeteria. Students will be using a scannable ID in the lunch line and money may be added to students' lunch accounts through the My School Bucks website. Students will be able to pay for lunch with cash. However, they will not receive change. Any change due will automatically be added to students' lunch accounts. Now, just like in any other school year, attendance is critical to success in high school. We are required to track attendance during students in person, as well as their days of remote learning. We understand that regardless of whether you have chosen to attend in person with our hybrid model or to start out fully remote, there may be circumstances when your student is not able to be present, either virtually or in person. If your student is ill or has an appointment, such as a dental or doctor's appointment, we do ask that you contact the attendance office to report your child's absence at 757-2246. Even if your student is scheduled to work remotely that day, we ask that you report the absence as it will help us support your student with accessing and making up missed assignments. Again, we encourage parents to monitor the School Tool Parent Portal, where you can easily track student attendance, including any tardies or late arrivals to class. As we are relying more than ever on the use of devices and technology, I want to remind students and families about our Connect with Respect and personal device procedures. It is our expectation that students in classes power off, attention off. Students must turn devices off and store them securely during class when the focus should be on instruction. Posters are on display in each room that clearly state the expectation, respectful use allowed or power off attention on. Cell phone use is not permitted in restrooms. Much more of your time will be spent accessing instruction through digital means and your digital reputation is important. Be responsible, be respectful, be golden. Now it is my pleasure to introduce a video message from Carlin Rayen, our student government president, who would like to welcome you on behalf of the student body. Hi, class of 2024. My name is Carlin Rayen, and I'm this year's student government president. On behalf of the whole Vestal High School community, I want to welcome you all to Vestal High School. I know that entering a new school can be tough, even without the coronavirus pandemic but I just wanna let you know that we're all in this together. Being a golden bear is about more than academics. It's about being kind to one another, accepting everyone, being involved in school sports and having school spirit and being a part of clubs. There are so many clubs and activities to be a part of at Vestal High School, from student government to varsity club to environmental club and so much more. Clubs and activities may start online, but either way, it's important that you get involved. Everybody has a place they belong at Vestal High School. If any of you have any questions, you can always reach out to me or other members of student government and we'd be happy to help. This year is going to be a great year for everybody. Go Bears! Although some of our extracurricular clubs may have to adapt their activities for the time being, the student government officers and advisors have been working hard to develop new ways to engage students. One example that students will have access to is the Virtual Club Hub. This platform will enable students to learn more about and participate in a wide range of activities, and many of them will be online. 
by clicking on the various post-it notes in the Club Hub, students will be able to access membership information and activities. More information about the Club Hub will be shared soon. We continue to encourage students to try out and become involved in many activities during their time at the high school. I would also like to encourage you to consider joining the Vestal High School Parent Teacher Organization. Many of you may have been active at the elementary and middle school levels, and the PTO at Vestal High School is an important partnership for our school as well. The PTO generally meets the second Wednesday of the month, and meetings are currently being facilitated through Zoom. You may reach out to Lisa Milkovich, our PTO president, for more information, and a membership form is now available on the school website. I would like to thank the Vestal Board of Education members for their continued support of our programs. And I'd like to thank you for tuning in. As an assistant principal here at Vestal High School, I'd like to take a moment to encourage you all to do your best over these next four years. You have much to think about now. We pride ourselves at the high school on working to maintain an inclusive culture, one based on celebrating the unique contributions of every student. If at any time you experience or witness acts of harassment or intimidation, we encourage you to report these incidents to our office, the main office, the counseling and guidance office, or to any caring adult in the building. Every adult who works in this school wants you to feel safe and respected. So please let us know if and when any problems arise. We have posted a separate video from our live webinar where Mrs. Young and the administrative team have taken the opportunity to respond to questions. You may find this video posted on the district YouTube channel. In the meantime, as we prepare for back to school, please do not hesitate to contact us. We are all extremely excited to have the privilege of welcoming students back to the building and look forward to a successful school year.